So I'm trying to make these canvases um, able to take um, watercolor uh, to be able to use watercolors on them. So right now these are just um, natural cotton canvases and what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare them with this um, product I bought which is Daniel Smith watercolor ground and I'm going to see how well this works. Um, I used a plain canvas here, these cheapy ones um, with watercolors and they don't look bad um, but I'd like them to move more and uh, these are just kind of playing around testing. So here I am going to make, I'm going to cover these up with this product. I bought a brush just for it, just on these um, low cowl cornwall brushes, sorry, <laughs> and um, low in. Anyway, um, so what I'm going to do is uh, just put a thin layer of this and um, let it dry and see how it works because I want to watercolor paint on these canvases and make a thin layer I'm going to put a little water on my brush and just cover it up the whole surface here that might be a little much And this is supposed to be make it like a paper surface to do your watercolor on. So this is going to be really interesting to see the difference, to feel the difference when you're painting. I'm not putting nearly as much as I put on gesso. That's cool. I'm going to add a tad of water just to smooth it out a bit. That might have been too much. Now there's a hair in there, of course. Let's hope that that's good. Okay, that's one.
esta tu nueva vida. Rose gold, pink, rose gold. This is the one. Nope. Uh, rose gold. is too much. Um, this is a project that went on for a while and I thought I would post a couple of videos on it. Um, I have made another video of these watercolor um, project that I was trying to practice for someone who needed these for place sets on the wedding table and um, um, she did end up liking them at the end but I went through a lot of work trying to get this right um, with her vision what she wanted uh, it was quite the um, abstract type of watercolor piece that she wanted and I was just not getting exactly at first what her vision was and sometimes it's really hard to go into someone else's vision and kind of get what they want out of something so it took a lot of practice um, so I tried so many different ways and at the end I did a watercolor and I did mix acrylic with it I told her that um, watercolor wasn't my strong suit and I'm still kind of playing in it and that um, acrylics more my strong suit but I can kind of mix the combination and make it work for what she exactly wanted and I think the end results when you check out the pictures at the end is really what worked but my struggle with this I wanted to share this video just to show you guys that it's not always easy to do something especially for someone else Um, here I'm just using my water brush, I'm using my paints, different artist paints here, nothing too expensive, and my metallic uh, lusters to get the metallic feel that she wanted, this, the patron wanted in, in these paintings. So um, these are just the practice pieces, these little dollar store boards or maybe uh, Michael boards, and that's what I was using to try to get the feel of this painting. <laughs> um, she did show me an example of somewhat what she wanted and it was just totally not my style but I, I really ended up having to just kind of get out of my box. It took a lot of work. I was struggling and not really enjoying the process.
I would say that my style of what I would have done on this painting if it was for me is it was too hard too many dark colors I would have done a more soft watercolor but the particular uh, project that she asked for was like a lot of hard edges um, and it was for a wedding and she just wanted it not too girly really lots of hard edges she's seen other watercolors that were really soft and just wanted something a little bit more sharp Um, maybe one day I will repaint this to, <laughs> I don't know. This was a, such an easy piece. It should have been so easy, but it really wasn't that easy for me. Um, you've, most of you have seen some of my paintings in the past, and yes, I find it very hard to paint for someone else, and maybe that's why I don't sell my art too much. <laughs> Usually somebody wants to buy it, they've seen it as it is, the way I've invented it, the way I've made it, and then they might want to buy that. But usually when someone asks for something, I find it very hard to do. So even for me, even for anyone who's an artist, um, who, who has somebody else's expectations in it or is worried about what other people are going to think about it, it is so hard to create something. And I think this took me a couple of months to get it down to... Um, I also have another watercolor video that this is my first was my first um, practice on it. I went through this several several times in stages, and I thought I'd put a couple of videos sessions together here. And um, the end results that you have see here, I did not record that. I did them in my living room one day. I'm like, I have to get this done. I have my due dates coming up. I had like a date that these pictures had to be out for these wedding, so I had to just break down and do it. trying something different here. I have my mountains painted out in the background, pulled them down, dry them up, put some tape on me, kind of. I'm not, I'm trying to invent something new here. I don't know. I'm having trouble with this particular painting and I'm really actually kind of freaking out about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of this dust
to my painting and see if I can make it look like I'm supposed to. So this stuff here is, you're supposed to, that Bruce Show color craft colors and it's light brown and it's supposed to be able to paint it or to spray and it gets color everywhere. I'm just trying different things because I'm just not getting the look that I am looking for. So I'm, just, <laughs> I'm seriously having really bad experience with this right now. So I'm just trying something new. Just I'm supposed to make a watercolor, but it's not working. And it's supposed to be not just a regular kind of watercolor. So we'll see how this works. So I sprayed it. I recorded it just because I'm gonna apply it. It looks like it got behind my painting. We'll see what it turned out, how it turned out. I don't know. I'm just freaking out because I'm not having fun. I'm not having fun with this one. I wish I was having fun with it. I'm not having fun with it. Okay. I'm liking the spontaneous lines a bit more here. That was a result of ripping my tape and uh, trying to make a crazy lines for my waterbed type of thing here. I'm not sure how I'm liking it, so we'll see. It's just, I'm having so much trouble with this particular painting and I have specifics that someone wants and it's just not coming together for me. So we'll see if I can make it come out in a different wonky way. So I'm just going to use my um, copper kettle metallic lusters and use it like a watercolor because I don't have any um, watercolors that would be metallic or anything and I need the copper in my color. So going with that and I'm just trying a different approach this painting. Okay. Now, this is going to be more ground here kind of thing. Oh no. Okay, so now I'm just going to go in with my teal. I'm just trying things. I'm trying to fix what my problem is. I'm trying to make an abstract mountain scenery and make it very a certain look to it and it's just not coming together for me so I'm trying a few different things. gonna try rose gold in here a bit too. Usually I was putting it I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just having 
if I didn't have a certain way to paint this, it'd be a lot easier because my style of painting would be obviously easier for me to accomplish. Okay, so this is what I got so far. Okay. I've got some of this copper still in, or um, rose gold in here still, so I'm just kind of blending in a little bit. Now, uh, mm. See if I could pull out some of this color here. I'm just gonna try to wet some of this ground and try to pull out some of that color. Cause it was quite a bit. Now, I know there was some hard lines that were wanting to be in here. There we go. Go a little bit like that. I'm not sure if I want to go a little bit along the... Oops, I don't want you watering. Okay. This is getting a little bit more like what I would do. <sighs> so I'm just getting lots of water in my turquoise, trying to get some of that splash around here. And in my copper. Don't mind abstract, I'm just having trouble with the maybe the direction or I can't view vision what this person wants. And sometimes you just can't do what somebody else wants, I guess. I don't know. So I'm just trying to make Okay. Use this brush here. For more copper. This is my water brush. Okay. Okay, so this is it. Okay, let's put some rose gold, I think, up here. Can you guys see what I'm doing? I've really just been so stressed about this. Put a little copper in the valleys, maybe. And I think I'll add a touch of turquoise. Really a touch of turquoise in the sky. Okay. Adding a little bit more turquoise. 
turquoise or mountains maybe. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but I'm just am. certain spot. Tie it through a bit more. Okay, this is what I like-ish. Still too dark for me, but I'm trying to be bold. This is them. I hope you guys enjoyed the process somewhat, and um, it want, I want to show you guys that it's not always easy, and this is totally not my style of my choice of way to paint, but it is a style, and uh, yeah, sometimes it's good to, I guess, get out of your box and do something different. Thanks, friends, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye now, for now.